Okay, I thank all my new subscribers, especially my 3 444th sub today, the third of which was Godless Glenn, whose video I'm sort of responding to. Link down below, go check him out. The video was Miracles Are Bullshit. And I think this is actually kind of an interesting topic as the title says here. And for me it goes into the whole question of miracles and the harm, the damage, the problems that they cause. And right as I state, this is dealing with sort of a combination of the butterfly effect and the monkey paw. If you don't know them, the butterfly effect is the idea that the wing, fluttering of the wings of a butterfly in China can cause a tornado in Kansas or something like that. That small effects in one area, especially weather-wise, cause bigger effects elsewhere. And the monkey paw is the old story, Simpsons and Twilight Zone and others have done it, where people are granted wishes and they get the wishes but they always turn out bad. Like they ask for a million dollars and a family member who had the million dollar bond on them whatever life insurance dies and they end up winning it because you know money has to come from somewhere else and what does this have to do with miracles well this is sort of the issue with miracles you pray for ten dollars on the ground so that you can get a taxi out of a tough part of town good you got a taxi you find ten bucks and you got it but ten bucks had to come from someone who needed that money was it someone more needy than you you just needed a quick ride because you were, didn't want to walk 10 blocks or whatever. They may have needed that to feed them themselves. Or what about the village in Africa that's starving that could survive a week on $10? Why is God giving you $10 because you're lazy or whatever and not giving it to this village? And if God's making the money wholesale, well that affects economy, inflation other problems. You know, the miracle of getting a job. that There's no way you could have gotten a job beforehand without God's intervention. So you got the job. Well, if you, didn't, if you got the job because God, that means you were unqualified. So how many lives are you going to ruin because you weren't qualified for the job? You're going to mess things up, or at the very least, the person that should have gotten the job. No, doesn't have the job. Did they need it more than you? Of course, I don't believe in miracles, but the implications of miracles and whatnot are just disastrous. Glenn mentioned his sister asking for snow, and she got the prayer answered. The very storm killed a bunch of people, and... You know, froze to death, but she got her prayer answered. There is an effect of butterfly and the monkey paw. Even just mundane miracles. The whole tornado incident. It was, I think it was Dawkins or Hitchens was retelling a story in a video, or maybe a hypothetical, I'm not sure yet. It was a long time ago I saw this. They were talking about a baby gets thrown by a tornado and survives. Everybody upon its body was broken. But it survives being thrown from a tornado into a tree. And everybody considers that's a great miracle. Ignoring that this same tornado went on to plow through a hospital and skill. Killing people. So what? Did God save this baby? But in the act of saving the baby, change the direction of the tornado killing all these other people? Or is it just that fall for just completely random incidents and neither had anything to do with God. All these other problems. People pray for rain and it rains. Well, that rain has to come from somewhere. That moisture. Remember in um, the One Piece manga, there was a device that could create rain by collecting the moisture in the air. The problem was it was banned because doing so caused droughts and arid areas around the area that has the water. Because that water has to come from somewhere. Maybe, the, maybe it's not global warming. Maybe it's God answering prayer for rain is causing the self to have these droughts. I don't believe it. But again, if you look at your prayers, you have your beliefs, you have to look at the consequences. You can't just think of it flat out. And what does it say? That Americans are more worthy of their prayers answered for mundane things. One kid asks to be cured of cancer and gets cured. Well, 30 other parents don't have that. Christians, other people. Did God hate their children? Weren't their children not worthy? Or is it just random? I think people need to think about these things a little bit more. The implications, the results, the contradictions, the problems of these things. So check out his video. And rate, comment, subscribe down below. And thank you to my new subscribers too.